So, hey, welcome back. Oh. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You sure, Glenn? That's a, that's a big choice, Glenn. Like, you by yourself, you can't. You gotta do what you gotta do, though, at the end of the day. Do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Glenn really fell in love with that girl. Stay safe out there, Glenn. I don't want you dying. Straight up. Alright, but welcome back to another video on The Walking Dead. This is part four? Four, I think. Yeah, but... You feel me? I just had to continue it on because the last one had me really into it. I got a little heated because the old dude slapped hey, kid. sucked my shit. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Hey, man, that means a lot. Means a lot for real. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. Not really, I know, to it's be stupid. Honest. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Oh. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm sorry, it's okay. Carly. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carmen. She, she gave me a dry ass ah. I don't think she liked the response I gave her. I, I, I'm thinking she was trying to get me to say I like her type shit. Let's go see what the kids on. Oh, hey, I'm coming for you next. We need that third one. But you know what? Pussy. He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need yeah, to be I can really say sorry. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. 
Let me go deal yeah, with Yeah, I'm out. Oh, man. Yeah, Hunter. go deal with your... Another thing. What do you go want? Go deal with it. You like my daughter? Uh, her dad tried to her kill me. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? Nobody I wants your daughter, you nigga. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, and I Lee, hate when I hate when people think they are that. Like you straight up not all that. Like you an old, you an old man. My dad would be dead like if could, it weren't for you. I could drop kick. You got heart problems. I could drop kick you and you'll have a heart attack. Me. Like sit you your ass down. Like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. And you're only one girl. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Or not. Three months later. Ooh. Alright. Damn it. Who's there? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much. I don't know who that that dude Maybe I'm with you is. Shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Mm. You'll have to ask we'll have Lily. To ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son. He's got a family. Got and they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with Yeah, him Larry. Larry is weird, man. That's all I can tell you. Uh, Who knows what Larry's Yeah, I have no idea. Is. Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face? I the mean, time? if I was stuck in a room with him, like, I'd still knock him out. Any day, anywhere, any time. Regardless of the situation, he getting knocked out. It's a long Can you shot. Can make the shot? I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, 
If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ooh. Ah! You dumbass. That Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Bro, the fact that he missed too. Was it? <laughs> Who Jesus the hell is Christ. that? Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna, We're hurt, not you. gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Bro, you better get shot. Gotta get him out of there. We'll try. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Ah, uh, fast, please. fast. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Uh, I'm getting scared because this this might actually cause me to lose oh, no. some people. Bro, y'all stay Walk quiet, us. man. Now or never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Right. Just cut his leg off at this point. Please, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to cut the chain. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, it has to be done. It's now or never. It has to be now. Now. Who got shit? Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Alright, let's run, let's run for it. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ah! Are you can still run! Are you stupid? Are you dumb? No! You really deserve that. Bye bye, adios, my G. You deserve that. Uh, it seems we got something pretty good going for ourselves right here. Open. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? Yeah, he would have died. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out there. Bro, that guy and his daughter, man. Fine. Like, I'm, I know they, sh they call it shots and stuff. And, and see what like, I do. sometimes you have Wait, to do what? that. No, I... Just come on, okay? you know, they get on you my like nerves. You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own exactly. goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh come on, you're Big being dramatic. Thanks, my G. Everything always Girl. turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's doesn't in charge. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. Cause any any little thing to make her lose power is a good thing. You feel what I mean? I mean, well, everyone's staring at me now, so it just makes it weird. So now I gotta ration it out between everybody. I'll probably give her some food less because she's straight doing surgery and shit. How you doing? Friend? I'll start with the kids. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh, of course. Sure. When did of course, you, you need that hat. I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Well, first, let me give you your rations. Here's your rations. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give piece of jerky. Give half an apple. Give crackers and cheese. Give half an apple. Give piece of jerky. Give I'll give her crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> How can a Sunday? If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Hey, Duck. Uh, I'll give you some duck. food. Uh, give crackers and cheese, give a piece of jerky, give half an apple. I'll yeah. give him a piece of jerky. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Yeah, that's good. Now I need to give Want this shorty some, some food. Give crackers and cheese. Give half an apple. Have an apple. I'll come. give her half an apple. She needs. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Some 
Save the last piece of food for someone else. Oh, some of these Safe people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, I can't really eat. Alright, so either Kenny... We could... The kids must eat for sure. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I think I'm gonna give him some. I'm gonna think I'm gonna give him the food. Here, I mean, he's the one that so. brought it, man. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark. I'll this give it to help. Mark. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. I mean, Mark's doing the work, though, with the axe. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. Treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you but working on that Us three wall. didn't eat, man. The kids and the weak had to eat. I gave food to, uh, to both the kids. Come here, please. I should have gave some to he our surgeon, my G. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Captain. Let him go. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Please, 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 no, 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 no. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Move, move. Hit it. Shit, it's stuck. Kick him. Use, use the left stick to get away. What? I died! Right, get away, get away. Alright, jump up. Oh. Yeah, take his eyes out. Take his eyes out. Shoot it! Nah, don't shoot it. Come on, we could have handled it. You okay? It. Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't yeah, you tell us he was bitten? It. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. You're lying. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. 
One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Damn. Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Yeah, yeah we, we really do need food, though. Lee, why don't you and Mark check yeah. the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay, you we'll got go a to deal. The dairy. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Hey, so that's a bit, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm. Me as a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Whatever they could get their hands Somehow, I ended up getting locked in You know what happened. You know what happened. I know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God yeah, Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mm. I grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh... I uh, I you guys am. have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there, anyway? Uh... Enough to defend Enough ourselves. To defend. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out yeah, to the I, I don't want like to. I, I don't want to give away too much information because these people might be trying extra to. Help you hand. feel me? In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for. Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Really and you guys were keeping it there's up only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Danny and I got you covered if something happened. Let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! Damn. 
him. He put like three here. full buck shots in so Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. We could have taken his bow and arrow though. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Hey, to be honest, this looks nice as hell. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. There's his mom. This is a really this brilliant, is a brilliant setup. setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we all work we together. Work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, um, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. I should have just said, uh... We're awful hungry. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Belle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my hearts have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. Yeah, he's a getting a little too comfortable, all you hungry man. souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry, knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Hmm. Let's make sure Before the place we is safe. About bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Yeah, Obviously, real shit. Cause they could just be trying to set us up. For the kids. They're cannibals. You know, low swing key. Over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Alright, that's a bit for sure. Alright, but this is where we're gonna end this one off. Uh, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And yeah, man, until next time. Peace.